So who is Uchiha Madara? So those who know him, you know him well enough. But those who do not, you just get that he just any another anime character. But those who know him, there is another name for him that is the ghost of Uchiha. So what will happen if he realizes his plan and win the whole war and after that he still lost because of backstabbing but in the end he got a chance he got a chance to reborn us as Ketchum as the protagonist and the chosen one of the Pokemon world what changes will he bring to this world so if you are new on the channel subscribe and turn on the bell icon for notification of upcoming videos so without any more delay let's begin today's video with the minute Help me complete 10,000 subscribers, please. That's just a small goal, so now let's begin. A new beginning. The scene opens in Pallet Town, where Ash Ketchum, now inhabited by Madara Uchiha's spirit, is preparing for his Pokemon journey. He enters Professor Oak's lab, where the renowned Pokemon professor awaits. Professor Oak. Ah, Ash, my boy. Today is the day you begin your Pokemon journey. Are you excited? Ash Madara nods absolutely, Professor Oak. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Professor Oak smiles that's great to hear. Now, choose your very first Pokemon. These three are popular choices among new trainers. Professor Oak presents Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, but Ash's eyes fall upon a fierce-looking Garchomp, which stands nearby. Ash Madara intrigued, what about that one? The Garchomp. Professor Oak. Surprised, oh, that's not a typical beginner Pokemon, Ash. Garchomp is a powerful and wild creature. Ash Madara confidently, I want to choose Garchomp. I sense a bond with this Pokemon. Professor Oak. Pauses, sensing something different in Ash, very well, Ash. If you believe in that bond, I trust your judgment. Ash reaches out and Garchomp looks at him with curiosity before nodding in agreement. Professor Oak is impressed and hands over Garchomp's Pokeball to Ash. Professor Oak. Encouragingly, remember, Ash, the journey is about more than just battles. Form a strong bond with your Pokemon. Ash Madara nods, I will, Professor. Thank you. As Ash and Garchomp leave the lab, they are met by Ash's childhood friend, Gary Oak. Gary. Smirking, so, you actually chose the Garchomp. Bold move, Ash. I'm sticking to tradition with Squirtle. Ash Madara, smirks back, tradition is overrated, Gary. I'll show you that strength comes in different forms. Gary. Chuckles, we'll see about that. Let's battle someday, Ash. Ash and Garchomp head out of Pallet Town, ready to begin their Pokemon journey. And so, the legendary Ash Ketchum begins his journey with an extraordinary partner by his side. Unknown to the world, an ancient soul from another realm guides him, igniting a flame of unyielding strength within him. Together, they will take on the Pokemon world like never before. The scene fades as Ash and Garchomp venture into the wilderness, setting the stage for an epic journey filled with adventure, battles, and the unfolding of Madara Uchiha's indomitable spirit in the Pokemon world. Episode 2. Unleashing the Sharingan. The episode starts with Ash and Garchomp traveling through the Viridian Forest, their first step towards becoming Pokemon masters. As they venture deeper, they encounter wild Pokemon and other trainers, where Ash's strategic prowess quickly becomes apparent. In the Viridian Forest, Ash and Garchomp face their first challenges. Little do they know that Madara Uchiha's presence within Ash will shape their journey in ways they couldn't imagine. During a battle with a skilled bug catcher, Ash impresses everyone with his analytical skills and precise commands. Ash, Madara, Garchomp, use Dragon Claw. Garchomp strikes with precision, taking down the opponent's Pokemon. Bug catcher. Surprised, whoa, that's an amazing Garchomp you got there. Ash, Madara, thank you. We make a great team. Word of Ash's remarkable battling abilities begins to spread as he defeats various trainers in the forest. Meanwhile, Team Rocket, drawn by rumors of a legendary trainer, keeps a watchful eye on Ash. Jesse. Gleaming eyes, looks like there's a kid causing a stir in the Viridian Forest. James. 
Excited, and rumor has it, he's got a Garchomp. Meowth. Nods, this Garchomp is something special. We gotta get our paws on it. Back at the Pokemon Center in Viridian City, Ash and Garchomp rest and meet other trainers, including Misty, a water Pokemon specialist, and Brock, a skilled rock Pokemon trainer. Misty. Hi, I'm Misty. Your Garchomp is incredible. Brock. I'm Brock. You've got a rare Pokemon partner there. Ash, Madara, grinning, thanks, both of you. I'm Ash Ketchum. They share stories of their Pokemon journeys and become fast friends. Misty. We should travel together. Brock. Nods, it's always good to have more friends on the journey. Ash, Madara, smiles, sure, I'd love that. The trio decides to travel together, each with their unique aspirations. With new friends by his side, Ash's journey takes a promising turn. But as Team Rocket schemes in the shadows, a greater test awaits him, one that will unveil the true extent of Madara Uchiha's powers. The group continues their journey, taking on more challenging Pokemon battles. During a heated battle, as Ash faces a particularly skilled opponent, his Sharingan starts to manifest, surprising him and those around him. Ash, Madara, to himself, the Sharingan. How is this possible? Garchomp senses Ash's confusion and protects him from the opponent's attack. Misty. Ash, are you okay? Ash, Madara, hesitant, yeah, I think so. I, I don't know how this happened. Brock. Curious, Sharingan. That's legendary. Misty. You really are a special trainer, Ash. Ash tries to brush off the incident, but deep down, he knows that Madara's power is gradually seeping into his reality. As Ash struggles to understand his newfound abilities, Team Rocket intensifies their efforts to capture him and his powerful Garchomp. In the following days, Ash's Sharingan continues to emerge during critical battles. As the trio approaches Cerulean City, they face their biggest challenge yet, a double battle with Team Rocket. Jesse. Surrender your Garchomp, kid, or face the wrath of Team Rocket. James. Yeah, give it to us, and we'll let you go unharmed. Ash, Madara, firmly, I won't let you harm Garchomp or any other Pokemon. Garchomp. Show them what we're made of. Garchomp roars, ready for the battle, and Ash's Sharingan awakens, displaying its full power. Brock. Amazed, incredible. Misty. Ash, you've got this. Ash's Sharingan enhanced Garchomp battles fiercely, overpowering Team Rocket's Pokemon with its newfound strength. Team Rocket is forced to retreat, leaving Ash, Misty, and Brock victorious. In this intense showdown, Ash's Sharingan has unlocked a new level of power. Yet, this is just the beginning of an extraordinary journey where the legendary spirit of Madara Uchiha and the Pokemon world merge into an unforgettable tale of adventure and destiny. The episode concludes with Ash and his friends celebrating their victory, unaware of the challenges that lie ahead and the destiny that awaits them. The Power Within The episode begins with Ash, Misty, and Brock continuing their journey, each step bringing them closer to the Pokemon League. Ash's Sharingan abilities continue to grow stronger, surprising and impressing his friends. As Ash, Misty, and Brock travel together, they encounter both new friends and powerful adversaries. Little do they know that Ash's unique abilities are drawing attention from unexpected sources. During a visit to a Pokemon gym in Cerulean City, the trio witnesses an impressive water-type Pokemon performance. Misty. Excited, this gym is famous for its synchronized water Pokemon performances. Ash, Madara, amazed, they move as one. It's beautiful. The gym leader. Misty's older sisters Daisy, Lily, and Violet, welcome them. Daisy. You must be Ash Ketchum. Misty mentioned you have a powerful Garchomp. Ash, Madara, nods, yes, I'm Ash. Nice to meet you all. Lily. Curious, we heard about your battles. You seem quite skilled. Violet. If you ever want to challenge the Cerulean Gym, feel free to do so. Ash is intrigued by the offer but decides to focus on his Pokemon journey for the time being. The group moves on to Vermilion City. As they journey to Vermilion City, Team Rocket continues to devise cunning plans to capture Ash's powerful Garchomp. 
Team Rocket sets up a trap for the trio, using rare Pokemon to lure them into a showdown. Jesse. Smirking, once we catch that Garchomp, our promotion in Team Rocket will be assured. James. Excited, we'll be the talk of the organization. Meowth. Nods and we'll finally be recognized by the boss. As Ash and his friends approach the trap, Garchomp senses the danger. Garchomp. Growling, Garchomp. Ash, Madara, alert, something's not right. Misty. Worried, be careful, Ash. Suddenly, the trap is sprung, and a net descends from the trees, capturing Garchomp. Ash, Madara, Garchomp. No. Team Rocket reveals themselves, gloating over their apparent victory. Jesse. Say goodbye to your Garchomp, twerp. James. Laughs, we'll finally make it to the top. Ash, Misty, and Brock realize they must act quickly to free Garchomp. Ash, Madara, determined, I won't let you take Garchomp. Misty. We won't back down. Brock. Confident, let's show them what we're made of. As Team Rocket's Pokemon engage in battle, Ash's Sharingan activates, and his strategic instincts come to the fore. Ash, Madara, Garchomp, use Dragon Rush. Garchomp breaks free from the net and strikes back with fierce determination, overwhelming Team Rocket's Pokemon. Jesse. No way. How can they be so strong? James. Panicking, we underestimated them. Meowth. Let's get out of here. Team Rocket retreats, defeated once again by Ash and his friends. In the face of danger, Ash's Sharingan shines brighter than ever. But with every victory, the mysterious power within him becomes more profound, leaving him with unanswered questions. Ash's friends notice his newfound strength but respect his privacy regarding the Sharingan. However, Brock decides to do some research on ancient legends and powerful spirits that might offer insights into Ash's situation. Brock. To himself, there must be a connection between Madara Uchiha and Ash's Sharingan. I'll find out what it is. As they continue their journey, Brock discreetly investigates ancient texts, hoping to unravel the mystery. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to our heroes, dark forces lurk in the shadows, plotting to exploit Ash's powers for their own malevolent plans. The episode concludes with Ash, Misty, and Brock bonding as they approach Saffron City, where they will encounter new challenges and mysteries. Episode 4. Shadows of the Past. The episode starts with Ash, Misty, and Brock arriving in Saffron City, a bustling metropolis known for its psychic-type Pokémon. As they explore the city, they hear rumors of a mysterious ancient artifact that grants incredible power. In Saffron City, our heroes find themselves in the heart of intrigue. Amidst the towering buildings and bustling streets, a legendary artifact awaits, and an ancient darkness stirs. In their quest to become Pokemon Masters, Ash and his friends decide to challenge the Saffron City Gym. Sabrina. The Saffron City Gym leader, welcome, young trainers. I am Sabrina. Prepare to face the might of Psychic-type Pokemon. Ash, Madara, confidently, we accept your challenge, Sabrina. As the gym battle unfolds, Ash's Sharingan enhances his connection with Garchomp allowing them to anticipate Sabrina's psychic-type Pokémon's moves. Ash, Madara, Garchomp, use Earthquake. Sabrina's Pokémon struggle to maintain their psychic focus against Garchomp's powerful attack. Sabrina. Impressed, your bond with your Pokémon is remarkable. Ash, Madara, thank you, Sabrina. Your psychic-type Pokémon are impressive too. Despite the intense battle, Ash and Garchomp emerge victorious. Sabrina. You have earned the Marsh Badge. Continue to grow, young trainer. Ash and his friends leave the gym, inspired by the battle. As they explore the city, they encounter a wise elder who reveals more about the legendary artifact. Elder. Intrigued, ah, young trainers. Are you searching for the ancient artifact said to grant unimaginable power? Misty. Curious, yes, we've heard rumors about it. Is it real? Elder. Nods, it is known as the, Eternal Crystal. Legend has it that it contains the essence of a powerful spirit. Brock. Excited, what kind of spirit? Elder. The spirit of an ancient warrior, said to be one of unparalleled strength. 
It is believed that this warrior's soul resides within someone destined for greatness. Ashes Sharingan briefly activates as he listens to the elder's words. Elder. Be cautious, for the eternal crystal has immense power. It must not fall into the wrong hands. As they continue their search for clues about the eternal crystal, Team Rocket observes from the shadows, plotting their next move. Jesse. Whispering, the eternal crystal. That's gotta be powerful. James. Imagine what the boss would do with it. Meowth. Nods, we gotta get our paws on it. Team Rocket resolves to find the eternal crystal before Ash and his friends. As Ash and his friends delve deeper into the mysteries of the eternal crystal, the presence of Madara Uchiha's spirit becomes more pronounced. His power resonates with the ancient artifact, drawing Ash into its enigmatic allure. Brock's research leads them to an ancient library, where they uncover a hidden passage connected to the eternal crystal's legend. Brock. Excitedly, I think we're getting closer to the truth. Misty. Curious, what does the legend say about the warrior's spirit? Brock. Reading, the warrior's spirit sought a vessel, one worthy of his legacy. Through the ages, he waits for the chosen one to awaken his power. Ash's sharing in glimmers, and he feels a strong connection to the words. Ash, Madara, to himself, the chosen one. Is it me? Ash shares his feelings with Misty and Brock, and they decide to venture into the hidden passage, unaware that Team Rocket is tracking their every move. As they journey deeper into the forgotten tunnels, Team Rocket's sinister plans draw ever nearer, setting the stage for a confrontation that will shake the very foundations of the Pokémon world. The episode concludes with Ash, Misty, and Brock on the cusp of a momentous discovery, unaware of the darkness that shadows their every step. The Eternal Crystal's Awakening. The episode begins with Ash, Misty, and Brock deep within the hidden passage, guided by the ancient legend of the Eternal Crystal. As they progress, they encounter ancient puzzles and challenges, testing their teamwork and determination. In the Forgotten Tunnels, our heroes face trials of mind and spirit. Little do they know that the Eternal Crystal's Awakening will bring them face to face with their destiny. Ash's Sharingan continues to resonate with the hidden power surrounding the Eternal Crystal. Ash, Madara, I can feel its presence growing stronger. Misty. Supportive, we're in this together, Ash. Brock. Encouraging, let's keep going. The answers we seek must be ahead. As they venture further, they discover a hidden chamber with a pedestal that cradles the Eternal Crystal. The room emanates an ancient aura of power. Brock. In awe, it's the eternal crystal. Misty. Amazed, it's breathtaking. Ash approaches the crystal, feeling a deep connection to it. The eternal crystal calls out to Ash, its power intertwining with the spirit of Madara Uchiha. The bond between them grows stronger with each passing moment. As Ash places his hand on the crystal, a brilliant light engulfs him. He experiences a vision revealing the ancient warrior's past and the truth behind the eternal crystal's power. Ancient warrior, in vision, inspirational, the power of the eternal crystal is one of balance and unity. I sought to protect this world, and so, I left my spirit within it, waiting for one who embodies both strength and compassion. Ash witnesses the ancient warrior's battles, struggles, and ultimate sacrifice to protect the Pokémon world. Ancient warrior, in vision, remember, Power alone does not make one great. It is the heart that guides strength, the bond between trainer and Pokemon, that determines true greatness. As the vision ends, Ash stands before the crystal, tears of understanding in his eyes. Ash, Madara, softly, I understand. I will protect this world, just as you did. Ash's friends, Misty and Brock, witness the transformation within him. Misty. Emotional, Ash. Brock. Resolute, you're the chosen one, Ash. The warrior's spirit lives within you. Ash embraces the responsibility bestowed upon him and feels a surge of newfound determination. With the revelation of his destiny, Ash stands as the chosen one, a bridge between the ancient warrior's spirit and the Pokemon world's future. As they exit the hidden passage, they find Team Rocket waiting for them, eager to seize the power of the eternal crystal for themselves. Jesse. Sinister, so, twerp, you've found the treasure, eh? 
James. Grinning, we'll be the ones to harness its power. Meowth. Laughs, give it up, or prepare to battle. Ash steps forward, his Sharingan activated, radiating determination and strength. Ash, Madara, firmly, you won't get your hands on this power. As the showdown unfolds, Ash, Misty, and Brock battle Team Rocket with renewed confidence and strength, backed by the spirit of the ancient warrior. Ash, Madara, Garchomp, use Dragon Claw. Misty, Starmie, Hydro Pump. Brock, Onyx, Rock Slide. The combined might of Ash's team proves too much for Team Rocket, who are forced to retreat once again. Jesse, blast it. How can they be so strong? James, panicking, we underestimated them, again. Meowth. Let's get out of here. With Team Rocket defeated, Ash's friends congratulate him on his newfound power. Misty. Proud, you did it, Ash. Brock. Grinning, you've come a long way, my friend. Ash, Madara, grateful, I couldn't have done it without you both. As Ash embraces his destiny, his journey continues, but now he carries the legacy of the ancient warrior within him destined to protect the Pokemon world from darkness and to honor the bond between trainer and Pokemon. The episode concludes with Ash, Misty, and Brock continuing their Pokemon journey. Hey guys, if you like this video, please do one thing, like it, share it with your those fans who love to watch Pokemon or any fanfic of anime which are related to specific genres so please do that and turn on the bell icon for notification of these any other series which are still ongoing on channel thanks for watching